Hey guys, this is Neon Nezzy, back again with another Destiny Knights video. Today, we are going to be taking another look at the mechanics of when it comes to PvE. This should help you guys out a lot um, in terms of who you should be running or who in general should be in your striker position, who in general should be in your leader position, all that good stuff. So before we get started, uh, there are a few questions that I would like to address. One of them is how to reroll. Like I said in my previous video, when I first started the game, I did not know that you could reroll, and I still kind of regret it, but there's no point in me rerolling now, right? So I can't show you guys how to reroll, but there is a link for all Android users in the description down below on how to reroll. For iOS, I could not find any guide. However, a friend of mine who, use, who uses iOS told me that for iOS users to reroll, they need to clean reinstall IIRC. I'll say that again. Clean uninstall IIRC. Whatever that means, I have no idea. So, um, a lot of people gave me positive comments and a lot of people told me that the guide was very helpful to them. So I appreciate all your comments, guys. Thank you so much. And please ask me more questions. You guys can ask me anything. Zom, Pocky, XD just asked me, how long is my ding dong? Uh, by that, I assume you mean how long is my doorbell, right? Like how long is the duration of the, like the, like the ding dong? Um, if you count that right there, I think that was about 0.8 seconds. I am Asian, so I'd like to be very accurate. So I hope that answers your question, Zompaki XD. <laughs> um, a lot of people asked me on to making uh, guides for four star units uh, for arena. I'll make those in the future videos guys but today just wait and see what I have installed for you guys because this should really 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 help you guys out <clears throat> one of the questions that I received uh, was how do you get a triple s break and first of all how do you break so we're gonna go into hard mode here here because I'm pretty sure this is where most of you guys are at if you guys started playing yesterday so we're gonna go into sorry not Jin I'm gonna go into Tragar and <clears throat> What, what we're going to see here, guys, is that there are different elements to your units. So most gacha games like this one have elements like fire, water, earth. They're very basic, you know, like like from the Pokemon days. Um, <clears throat> oh, sorry, guys. I'm losing my voice today. Um, Destiny 6 or Destiny Knights now is unique in the sense that they use paper, rock, and scissor. Okay, so... I really hope I don't need to explain to you guys which one is is better, but um, or like which one trumps which one. I'll just go ahead and put Tyler. Well, for right now, for the purposes of just showing you guys, let me just uh, equip Grinberg over here. All right? Don't worry, I'm not gonna use him. So right here, you guys might be saying, "Oh, your Arcana, she must be like super super OP." No, guys, my Arcana has nothing on her. All right, she has no orbs and no crest and even no title. I'm just using her because I need somebody to heal. <laughs> I just need somebody to heal. Um, so I'm using uh, Hugo as my uh, leader because he is paper. And as you can see over here, it says leader type status because the boss over here is rock type. And yeah, the boss type over here is rock. And the... Um, my leader is paper, so paper beats rock. So we simply have a leader skill advantage. Now the advantage of having a leader skill advantage is that you take 30% reduced damage and you deal 30% increased damage. Also, if you guys look over here carefully, you guys will see that I have three stars over here, wherever I'm clicking. Those three stars mean that you have accomplished all of the conditions to clear the stage and to get a good grade. So you get conquer perks or a stage conquer effect, which essentially means that when you do the stage again, you guys will be dealing more damage and taking reduced damage. This paired up with your leader type advantage gives you a huge, huge, I can't think of a better word. So it gives you a huge advantage basically because you're taking reduced damage from both leader skill and conquer effect and you're dealing more damage from both leader skill and stage conquer effect. So if I were to put in my um, my 
Arcana over here, Rock and Rock, that's equal. So I take whatever damage I'm supposed to take and I deal whatever damage I'm supposed to deal. Now, if you guys make this mistake right here, your runs might not be super safe. You might fail a bunch of times simply because you have a leader type disadvantage. This generally means that you'll be dealing 30% reduced damage and you'll be taking 30% increased damage. So let's go ahead and put Hugo back to where he belongs. Let's go to manage heroes and we are going to bring in, I want to bring in somebody offensive. Like if you guys want to get, um, if you guys want to be able to, to get uh, like really good scores, I really wouldn't recommend on people trying to focus on getting a triple S because at this point you really only need to do a double S. Like I'm at the boss stage, I only need to do a double S. So I'm kind of skeptical on if we can even get a, a triple S. Uh, if I bring him, it's going to be unfair because of his leader skill. All right, you know what? Let me just bring in Tyler. All right, so right now I'm using three four stars and one five star. If you guys are at this point and you guys have been playing for at least a day or two, I'm sure that you guys have someone and I'm sure that you guys by now have at least two or three five stars. Hopefully you guys watched my previous video and have re-rolled your account or are now going to re-roll your account into getting some crucial five star top tier units. Without further ado, let's get into the battle. So I give credit where credit is due. Now, while I do not know who came up with the technique I'm about to show you guys, I can give credit to the person who introduced it, who introduced me to it. His name is Antonella, our guild leader, the man, the myth, the legend. Um, he was the first who allowed me to figure out that when you hit a boss when it's broken, or when you hit anybody when it's broken, it actually, when you break, when you, okay, let me start over. You break a target and you have a break skill. If you apply the break skill when the target is broken, you will elongate the break duration. I will, I will uh, let you guys know about this when we are at the boss stage, all right? But for now, let's just mow down these enemies. This feels so fun. It's like, oh, they're all so weak, but I'm using really like trash units right now. Or they're not trash. Um, Paper Hugo or Paper Harambe as I call him is actually pretty good. He's like, he's like your budget uh, Paper Kerr. He has a lot of breaks. Um, only thing, only thing, only reason I call them uh, trash right now is simply because they don't have good orbs and crests equipped onto them. So right now I'm not really using a lot of skills. We're gonna go up and heal up over here. Okay, uh, get out of that way for that one. We can break you. Okay, so we're just gonna try and mow down this entire, um, try and, gonna try and mow down this entire thing. All right, we're done. So now we can just go up over here. I would recommend people waiting there until all your cooldowns are off, un until you have all your skills back up. However, what you guys can also do is start the stage like this with your skills still on cooldown and you guys should just wait here. Just hit the, uh, hit the D-pad and just keep on moving down and as long as you aren't close enough to the boss, you won't attract his aggro. Okay, so now let's go ahead and start doing this. We're gonna move around first. And here, here's another thing. If this game is too fast for you guys, what you guys can do is uh, lower the speed, but what's better than, than time slowing down, guys? Time freezing. Check this out. This right here is another, uh, is another, concept that was introduced that i was introduced to by antonella i call this freeze framing because you're basically freezing a frame in the game right so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and this way you guys can take your time right so we're gonna go ahead and we're going to hit the boss and the moment we hit the boss we're going to put our finger on another skill and just hold down on it all right so watch this all right so right now you guys see there's the boss bar and underneath that bar, there is a bar that's kind of orange, a bit darker than the boss health bar, which is called break time. Essentially, that's the duration of the time that the boss is going to be frozen and can be stunned and will take increased damage. So right here, we're gonna do this, freeze frame. We're gonna aim it, freeze frame. We're gonna aim it, freeze frame. We're gonna aim our striker right here. And now look at the bar, guys. The bar 
is like, let's say 80% a ways down, right? He's broken. So what happens when you break a broken boss? You basically shatter them. Well, it's, it's not really, it's, it's just watch what happens. Wait for it. You guys see how that bar just jumped up? What you guys do when you guys um, break broken targets is that you increase their duration, is that you increase their break time. And right there guys, just in one hit, or just like in one break cycle, we were able to completely destroy this boss. Now right here, I got 28 hits, and I only got a double S tier, which I'm guessing guys is that, I'm not sure, but I feel like you can't get a triple S tier unless you're in hell mode. But if you guys just follow these these tips I just gave you in anywhere, hell, uh, or sorry, normal, hard, hell, nightmare, in any one of those stages, you guys should be able to get incredible, incredible combos. Um, this was initially uh, developed by players. Again, I don't know who developed, I only know who introduced me to these concepts for Faction Boss, but we're not even gonna look at Faction Boss right now because that is so, so, so late game. Um, what else do I wanna talk about? There is one thing that, that I would like to do um, every now and then. So like, let's say we go over here, right? And this guy is a, um, this guy is a, a scissor type. I don't know why that took me so long. That's a scissor. So I'm gonna bring in my rock as my leader. So something that a lot of people uh, don't or don't see immediately is that your leader is the only one that takes damage. So remember when we were taking on the boss right now and he had this wide firing range, right? So actually, let's go back to that boss, all right? Let, let's go back to that boss. I just wanna show you guys a safer way of dealing with these kind of bosses. The trick is to bring in a healer or buffer with the, um, with the counter. So over here, let's go ahead and bring in a Soho of our own. I trust that he is not, all right, he has trash. Just just to make him trash, I'm just gonna, where's the crest? Okay, crest. This is gonna cost me money, but for the purpose of the video, I don't really care. It's all about education, and you can't put a press on education, but our colleges do, so screw them. Okay, um, anyway, getting, getting back on topic. So if you guys have a healer or anybody that buffs, and by buff I mean gives you an attack buff, attack speed buff, heals you, these kind of moves have infinite range. Why does that come into handy? Well, let me show you guys. You guys can do something that I like to call um, safety dodge or basically um, healer's dodge. I, I, I don't know what to name it yet. It's basically, it only generally works with units uh, that have a heal and they have to be in your leader position. All right Reason being is that if you guys look at this I can take my unit into any part of the game. And I can drag them over there Essentially guys this looks like if I were to do this with attacker units, they would take themselves uh, To them, but attacker units don't don't have that much of a range as support units do so this comes in handy when you want to dodge big, big hits from the boss. All right, so let's just go over here. We, we really don't have to try out. Oh my God, that thing is tanky. We're going to heal right here. Break you. All right. Oh, okay. okay. We're just going to have to walk around for a bit. So every now and then, if you guys, again, um, you guys need to have somebody that can buff or heal and they need to be your leader. And as long as your leader doesn't take damage, your team doesn't take damage. So when does this come in handy? Well, let me see you guys. Let's just say I was careless and I'm over here. Boss is going to activate. Oh my God, I'm gonna get hit. Well, first of all, what do you do? Don't panic. Put your finger down on the skill that you wanna drag out. This is gonna hit me. I can't run away from, the, from this. So what do I do? I drag myself to safety. Boom, dodge, like a pro, right, right? All right, you guys wanna see that again? Um, all right, we just broke him. All right, I'll try not to kill him. All right, so we're not gonna kill him. Oh, okay, uh, we're actually gonna have to wait for that. Uh, okay, I'm waiting for him to do the thing again. Come on, hit me. All right, right here, he's about to hit me. And this doesn't have to be this skill particularly. It can be any kind of skill, guys. Like a red mark, a red territory will be marked of where the damage will be dealt. 
and you guys can just click on your leader skill. Remember, it has to be your leader has to have a buff or a heal kind of uh, skill and you just drag it out and you're safe. Okay, that was wow. He Wow. Wow. Oh, hold on. Wait, 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 time out, time out, time out, time out, coach. Holy cow, that was close. Okay, but you guys get my point, right? I got a bit, I got a bit too, um, I got a bit too overconfident over there. I got a bit too relaxed. It's all good though. We made it out alive. So hopefully these are some very easy uh, tips and this is what makes Destiny 6 a lot different from a lot of other gacha games, all right? Now I'm not gonna lie, I had my fun with Summoner's War where it's a turn-based game and I definitely, definitely am having fun with the current game that the other game that I'm playing which is Might and Magic Elemental Guardian. However, Destiny 6 is one of those gacha games where timing really comes into play and you really need to have a lot of skill for that. And it took me a while, it took me literally like a few hours or like at least a few yeah it literally took me a few hours to be able to just adjust my play style and to be able to dodge uh dodge those attacks freeze frame and to what was the other thing that i taught you guys break stack all right so hopefully you guys enjoyed this video remember for break stacking you guys need to have uh one unit that can have two break skills or two units that each have break skills. You guys need multiple breaking skills to be able to apply break stacks. If you guys have Kerr or Paper Kerr, then that's no problem. Rock Kerr again is not OP. He is broken, which is why he needs to be fixed. Without further ado, what, what I mean without further ado, oh, I'm so sorry. I just woke up. Um, hope this helps you guys in your PvE conquest. Um, let me know what content you guys want to see next. This, I brought out this video, and I know that today all we talked about was PvE in the scenario, but trust me guys, this is going to help you guys a lot, and this is going to help you guys through normal, hard, hell, and nightmare, which is why I simply could not wait to bring out this video to you guys. Thank you guys for watching. If you guys have any questions, even questions regarding my ding dong, I might want to change my bell sound now. Uh, let me know in the comment section down below. If you guys have any requests, anything at all, let me know in the comment section down below. Uh, if you guys like my content, please go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Helps keep me motivated. And until the next time, guys, Neon out.